Do you believe in fairy tales? Do you believe in invisible, impossible? In do you have enough faith that anything is possible? Is pretty much my question. Because it is. I am at Fairy Glen in Wales. Let me just share this with you. And I've been sitting here with kids. And it's so extremely, oh, let me show you this. So extremely peaceful. Apart from the bikes now. <laughs> but the reason I'm recording is because there are fairies, if you believe there are. And, you know, I just, I always believed in fairies. <laughs> I still do. And it's the connection you have. And it's that I feel here the time stopped. And I haven't played, like, you know, there are so many places I feel that we're connected, that we can, what we can do is find the inner power and really, really connect to the highest self. And you know me, I love being the highest, truest, most authentic self ever and that's my aim that is really that's the purpose of my life is to be the highest truest most authentic self and to be the brightest shine and power of love and ripple effect to others impacting lives in uh, just the most beautiful way so people can experience it fully but this place is so magical I think I, I know why it's the magic land. It's it's a fairy glen actually, fairy glen trail in Snowdonia. But time stops here. But do you know what happened when you stay calm, serene, and relaxed? All of a sudden, you will feel that you have inspired thoughts. I came up with such a great ideas just being here for 20 minutes, and I'm writing down some of the ideas. A couple of them I've written to phone because actually I want to take an action on this. But how much happens when you stay still? Be still and know that you're God. You know, Bible says that. And it truly happens to us that when we stand still and calm and inspired and connected to the nation, a nature, not nation. <laughs> And we also use our imagination more and intuition and everything is just so perfectly intertwined here. Find these spots. It doesn't matter have to be here. It doesn't find your spots. Find the spots where you feel so relaxed and serene that you know that whatever inspired thought comes through you, it's because you're connected to your higher self and you're thinking from that place. Not from a place of frustration and comparing yourself to others, seeing what others do. I mean, don't get me wrong, get inspired by what others do as well. But I'm realizing more and more that looking at what others do and copying what others do is actually coming away from the highest true self. And when you talk, when I talk about, you know, I really love that point and it happened to me mainly from when I was on a hot seat with Bob Proctor and he said to me, let the spirit come through you, close your eyes. Happened to me, why? Because in his presence, I was, and it was a presence of Peggy and Phil Goldfine as well on the Masters Manifesting, I was receptive. It was that point where I was willing to try something that I wasn't sure whether it's gonna work, but and I felt it's at first thought was it's stupid because everybody else is watching me and I'm live. And there are so many people in the Zoom room, but I've just let it go. And I listened to his voice, closed my eyes. I let the spirit come through me. And ever since then, I practiced that and it works. But it doesn't work if you running and chasing uh, with frustration and um, maybe you're not happy with the results you have, which is great. Sometimes the satisfaction actually stimulates growth. But it is so important to actually take this peaceful, calm, serene place and come up with an idea and just go and take it. Then obviously then you'll find the person who knows what they're doing and you get the help or you know you, you follow your dreams and take steps you can to get there. But my advice, be calm serene relaxed stay in the knowing that you are on the right path and everything that's happening to you 
is supposed to happen to you exactly where you are you're supposed to be and i'll see you next time